Well, we know this is a time of joy and celebration, but for some, the holidays can also bring feelings of anxiety, loneliness, and guilt. Money problems, sometimes family grudges, and more often keep loved ones apart, but it doesn't necessarily have to be this way. Pastor Phil Waldrop helps families of faith make and keep the peace, especially during the holidays, and he joins us from Alabama now. Pastor, thank you so much for joining us. Merry Christmas, first and foremost. Well, well, thank you, and Merry Christmas to you, too. I want to ask you, because I'm certain that you have a lot of families come to you for advice. What are some of the biggest challenges this time of year for families? And it doesn't matter where they live or what they believe in. Well, you know, it's always a challenge because the holidays are emotional days. We talk about joy and peace and love and happiness, and it causes us to be happy, but it can also be very painful for families who are going through some struggles or families that have some division, and especially for parents who have children who have made some very poor decisions and they see them wasting their lives. I want to ask you a little bit about that. You, you had said, I know uh, to, to some folks who I work with, that you don't want to shun any family members for choices that they have made that aren't uh, necessarily in conjunction with the choices that you've made. How do you remind yourself at a time when maybe you're in close quarters with that family member? Well, the choice always has to begin with us, whether we're a parent or whether we're a brother or a sister. And the choice we have to make is to include them, but not necessarily approve the decisions they're making. So we can make it a day when we're talking about positive things and good things and expressing love to our family members. At the same time, we're not approving the bad decisions that they have made. All right, maybe decisions that aren't good or bad, they're just different. It's, it's, listen, it's an election year. People have made very different political decisions. How do people keep the peace? Sometimes they're staying with family members throughout the, the holiday week, throughout Hanukkah, throughout Christmas, and into the new year. And one decision isn't good or bad. They're just different. Well, sometimes people are different, and it's okay for us to be open and honest without emotions. Oftentimes, our conflict comes when we get very emotional during the holidays because maybe someone brings up an issue and the person reacts, and it just escalates. So the best thing I find is to either avoid those issues, but it's okay to say, hey, guys, when we're together, let's have a few ground rules. Maybe you say, I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat, we're going to differ. So let's just say while we're together during the holidays, we're going to talk about things differently and talk about things that we have in common, not our differences. Or ground rules like it's the holidays, let's just have a good time and keep it like that, right? We'll keep it simple. Right. I do want to ask you, because obviously it, it is at the year end, so perhaps um, families are, are are including new members this year. So what if you have someone um, right. that you're celebrating the holidays with who have maybe they celebrate a different religion than you do and this is the first time that you're spending the holidays together welcoming a new family member? Well, we always welcome new family members and there's a key word, it's called respect. When we have someone who has a different faith tradition, it's okay for us to acknowledge it and to learn about their faith uh, position and how we may differ without being unkind. I think the key word is to love, of course, but to respect each other and to let each other know that we respect them and that we're not going to be condemning them or, or trying to avoid their differences, but instead love them and respect them for what they believe. All right, we'll leave it at that. Pastor, thank you so much. What a great message on this Christmas morning. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, and again, Merry Christmas. You too.